Florida may not have seasons, but Washington, D.C. certainly does. And some Florida natives are learning that the effects of dusk arriving earlier might be more than they bargained for. Kaplan's Hawa Izel has more on what to expect when it comes to fall in the southeast. With daylight saving coming to an end, winter is closing in, which means our time with the sun is shorter. Now I'm out here trying to get my vitamin D, but here on the East Coast, this cold is nothing to play with. So how are others coping? Honestly, I'm not doing the best. There's not the same level of sunlight as you get in Florida. People underestimate how, how much that really affects your mood and like your actual well-being. It's called SAD, or Seasonal Affective Disorder, and it affects about 5% of Americans. For those who aren't used to seasons, like many interns who come from the South for career opportunities in D.C., the adjustment to less sun and wintry winds can be jarring. I've never lived in the cold, so it's been very difficult. I've been struggling a lot specifically just because the sun has been going away. Mentally, it's just been a little bit harder to focus. Ariel Siant, a nurse at Sibley Memorial Hospital in Washington, D.C., says that when it's too cold to catch sun rays outside, there are other ways to boost serotonin. Everyone's health and wellness journey will be different. Something I do is definitely work out. You know, exercising releases endorphins, so you're automatically going to be happier. She also says finding a hobby is a great way to get through the colder months. Just meeting new people, making friends, being in a different environment is all ways you can kind of like combat it and like trick your mind. In DC, one of the best ways to trick your body into thinking you're closer to the equator is a visit to the U.S. Botanical Gardens, which recreates tropical climates for the plants it features. Despite the jarring adjustments, interns like Brandon say they're grateful for the experience. Also, it's kind of like affecting me in a good way because at least I can tackle this if I do end up living up north or anything like that. I know what to do. Now that is a gorgeous sunset, but it's not even 6 p.m. yet. Regardless, D.C. residents are making the most of the sunlight they do have. In Washington, I'm Hawa Ezel.